You keep spending a lot of money on the bakery, but you can make this bread at your house using just a few ingredients. So let's learn this recipe right now. So in a bowl, let's add two eggs, half a cup of oil, four tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, 250 milliliters of milk, and let's beat it very well until they are all mixed up. Then let's add 10 grams of dry yeast, it's about a tablespoon of it, and mix it again. Now let's start adding the flour, here I'm using one kilogram of it. Let's add it little by little, go filling this dough, and adding more. Enjoy this moment and tell us what city you're watching this recipe from guys, so I can send you that special hug on the next video. Go adding the dough, mixing it with the spatula first. I'm adding the rest of it, but soon we are going to knit it. This is the fluffiest bread ever. You're gonna love this recipe. Now use your hands to knit it until it's very smooth, guys. It has to be like this, as you can see on the video. And now let's put it on the counter, guys, to knead it a little bit more, okay? Here I have more space so I can use all the flour and mix it very well. Look at it, super fluffy and smooth. Put it in the bowl again and let's let it rest until it doubles the size. Here it took about 40 minutes to do it. Now it's already big, guys, look at it. Super big, super fluffy, and let's cut it now on the counter. Let's cut it into two equal parts because I'm gonna make two bread. Now let's open it with a roll. Not too thin, okay? You can open it a little bit and then roll it with your hands like this, as you can see on the video. Put it in a greasy form with oil or butter and some flour. And let's let it grow again. Look, guys, it has to be like this. It doubled the size. Now just take it to the preheated oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 40 minutes. But be careful because it will depend on your oven. And that's the bread, the best bread ever. I recommend you guys to cut it after it's cold because when it's warm, it's gonna change the texture of your bread. So be sure it's already cold. This bread with some butter and a cup of coffee, there's nothing better than that. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it. Make it at your house, then come and tell me what you thought about it. And this was today's dish, guys. I hope you liked this recipe. And if you did, don't forget to rate us down here from 0 to 10. Your opinion is super relevant for us and it helps us to bring more recipes like this one.